Asus ROG Maximus C790 Hero, currently priced at $629.99. This premium motherboard offers a slew of features, along with the classic high-end appearance found on the ROG Maximus motherboards. You get 12 USB ports on the rear I.O., Thunderbolt 4 Type-C ports, 5 total M.2 sockets, flagship class audio, and robust power delivery to support the latest Raptor Lake processors. You get PCIe 5.0 slots and a PCIe 5.0 M2 socket. The ROG Supreme FX ALC 4082 codec with s Saber DAC, ultra-fast 40GB PS Thunderbolt 4 Type-C ports on the rear I.O., 20-phase 90 AVRMs, and a sleek, modern, high-end appearance. The Z790 Hero includes a lot of accessories. Inside the box, you'll find the ROG Hyper M2 card, SATA and RGB cables, a USB drive for drivers and utilities, and a lot more items designed to make your life easier when building your system. The heatsinks are heavy, with deep notches cooling the VRMs, and a beefy heatsink to cool the top M2 socket. There's an RGB element above the rear I.O. area that illuminates some ROG branding, these are the only integrated RGBs on the board. Regardless, the Z790 Hero definitely looks the part of a high-end motherboard. Starting with the upper left-hand corner, we get a closer look at the RGB element that has matching diagonal lines running through the display. Control over this and any other RGB devices attached to the board are handled through the ASUS Aura RGB software. The VRM heatsinks are quite heavy have a lot of surface area with the deep miter cuts, and share the load through a heat pipe that connects the two parts. They did a great job cooling the power bits below. When running our flagship Intel Core i9-13900K, along the top edge are two 8-pin EPS connectors to feed the CPU power. To the right of the socket, we run into four unreinforced DRAM slots with a single locking mechanism up top. The Hero supports up to 128 GB of DDR5, with speeds listed up to a blazing fast DDR5 to 7800 plus AUK. Above the DRAM slots, on the top edge, are the first four of eight 4-pin fan headers. The CPU headers automatically select the proper mode, while the rest of the ports require manual adjustment. Both the chassis and CPU fan headers output up to 1A12W, with the W pump plus header outputs up to 3A36 watts. Working our way down the right edge of the board, we run into the first of three 3-pin three ARGB headers, as well as the retry, start, and flex key buttons. Next, we hit the 24-pin ATX connection to power the board, along with a 6-pin PSI connector. You need the PSI power connector plugged into the board if you plan to use the 60WPDQC4 Plus charging capability. Last but not least, on the top half is the front panel USB 3.2 Gen 2X2, 20GBPS. Type-C connector. From there, it heads on to 2090A Vishe brand SIC 850A SPS power stages dedicated to core, using a team configuration. Currently, this is the best codec on motherboards, and it's supplemented by an SES9218 quad DAC, and several dedicated audio capacitors. If the onboard solution isn't good enough, you'll have to buy a dedicated add-in card. Most of the M2 sockets and all of the PSI slots, are found in the middle of the board. Starting with the latter, the Z790 Hero has three full-length slots. The two reinforced slots are for video cards and source their bandwidth through the CPU, running at Psi 5.0 x16x0 or x8x8. The bottom slot connects via the chipset and runs at Psi 4.0 x4. But this slot also bifurcates to X4X4 and supports the Hyper M2 AIC. The M2 sockets is where things get fun. The top M2 socket connects through the CPU and runs PCIe 4.0 X4 drives up to 110mm long. M22 and M23 connect through the chipset and support up to 80mm modules at PCIe 4.0 X4 speeds. M23 also supports SATA-based M2 modules with both sockets capable of installing up to 110mm modules. The included Hyper M2 module supports up to two modules, but it depends on what PCIe slot it's installed in, as to how many, and what type of PCIe slot, 4.0 or 5.0, it is. If you throw the AIC in the second full-length PCIe slot, 
It will run 1M2 drive up to PCIe 5.0 x4 speeds. If you install it in the bottom slot attached through the chipset, the PCIe slot bifurcates to two sets of PCIe 4.0 x4 lanes and runs two PCIe 4.0 x4 modules. You can run up to 5M2 storage devices in this configuration. There are certainly a lot of options on the M2 front, but the specs page and the manual have all the details. Moving past the chipset area and onto the right edge, we run into the six SATA ports and two front panel USB 3.2 Gen 1, 5GBPS ports. Across the bottom of the board are several exposed headers. You'll find the usual, additional USB ports, RGB headers, and even some headers dedicated to custom water cooling power reset buttons. The rear I.O. plate on the Z790 Hero comes pre-installed to the motherboard. It has a black background with white labels on the ports, which makes them easy to read. There are a total of 12 USB ports, 2x Thunderbolt 4 Type-C, 40 GBPS, passes video as well. 6x 3.2 Gen 2, 10 Gbps, 1 Type-C, ports, and 4 3.2 Gen 1 ports. Next to it is the HDMI port for video. On the right is the 5 plug audio stack, the Wi-Fi 6E antenna connections, and just above the USB ports, the Intel 2.5P.